The Epic Guys here, and today I'm using Mood to Fit. I'm going to do my first ever manga review. So, on the top of the Nara no Taizai of the Seven Deadly Sins, Chapter 161, The Legendary, and Chapter 162, Who Will Be the Fated Team. Now, basically, a quick sum up. First, we learn everyone's a gathered. We get the stadium set up by Dolor with the giant like berserk hands, and then we get the big revelation of the chapter, which was that that Ten Commandment was Galoxiana, I believe Galoxiana, the very first fairy king. And when I read that, I was like, <laughs> but yeah, so yeah. Her, her Ten Commandment is that of the repose, and repose basically means to rest, to be lazy, to enjoy. So I'm pretty sure that is fall under the Ten Commandment of Thou shalt respect the Sabbath day or Sunday and rest on Sunday. So basically then after chapter 162 is basically them set the teams. You get Mel Mel Band, we get King Diane, we get Arthur and the Nana Nashishi, the swordsman, Gil Thunder, Gil Frost, which is pretty interesting that both have gills in the name, but whatever. And we got Maltrona, a whole bunch of teams. So yeah. And basically, end, chapter ends off with Elizabeth and Elaine facing off against number team for the assassins. Kind of interesting. That's gonna go big, kind of not big head cliffhanger, but cliffhanger because Elizabeth and Elaine don't have any attack force. It's kind of interesting that's gonna go. So, a couple things that I want to talk about. Chapter. I want to make it quick. I want to do a quick review, hopefully quick. But yeah, a couple things is first thing I know is with when Loxiana was like Dolor, make the stage. Maltrona and Diane was like Dolor. But they didn't really like, were like, know who the Lord was. Like when the king and Elaine, and Elaine they, they knew that Loxiana was the very first fairy king. So it's kind of interesting with the giants back. Like the giants don't know like their ancestors kind of thing. But yeah, anyways, going back on, I'm kind of interested who Ban and Melio is going to fight. Because those two are back. They're, I believe they're in good, I hope they're in good terms. Because I really want them to like click off and just like be complete badasses. <laughs> Honestly. I personally think they're gonna face that one little the bird and Holy Knight Silver. I think that'd be an interesting first opponent. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then I was really, really interested when Gortier showed up. Balor was like, I've recognized that name before. I guess this is very weird that like the, the Ten Commandments don't know who Gortier is. I would think they know because it would be revealed that Gortier, spoiler, well, if you're here, you should, you should know, but Gortier. Is one of the Ten Commandments of selflessness. So it's pretty weird that Balor or Galoxiana don't really recognize Scorthier. So that's interesting. And him be being paired up with Jericho, I'm not really sure that's gonna go. Though, I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, the other thing is Escalor. And Nakama Sensei did a really good job of showing Escalor's weakness. So basically, it showed that Escalor can, in fact, die. I remember it was like, Nakama Sensei, no, no, you cannot do that. I, I knew he wasn't gonna die. But I thought that he would have knocked Escrow out of the fight out of the tournament. I would have been so, so pissed. I think I remember the cheese. But yeah, Galaxian does like the, the drop of life loop, which reminds me of Van's like internal life. It's a little bit different. I don't know. If, if Escrow has like a bad sort of life, GG, game over. <laughs> Suddenly she's gone, but he probably does not. But yeah, very interesting. So, anyways, those are my quick thoughts on the chapters. I also probably think that Diane is probably going to end up facing Maltrona and Olaf. If you think about it, we got Diane at King and then Maltrona on Olaf. Olaf is the uh, like King's pet and everything. So I feel like those two would eventually pair off. And that would be very interesting to see because we haven't seen much of Olaf. I don't know how Olaf got it mixed into this. Like, he wasn't even shown and he wouldn't. But yeah, that's going to be interesting. So anyways, those are my quick thoughts. These two chapters were amazing. I kind of wish they did a live reaction, honestly, because I'm like, double chapters. Whoa. Now, oh, I also have to mention the color pages that, on chapter 161. The one with the sky and the ladder is really, really nice. And then, oh, the one with the seven deadly sins all lined up together. I was like, click, save, computer. I, I think that's the first time, like, Nakama Sensei has drawn them all together, like, throughout the armor, and just squad goals right there. But yeah, so. Really, really, really awesome chapters. Epic plot twist. A nice cliffhanger of the NL162. Cool. Nice, like, everything set up for the Grand Tournament. The other chapters kind of like, just exposition, getting there, getting there. 
right now, but these two chapters were set for the main event, and I am hyped. Like, come on. We get to see Mayos and Ban working together again. I am so excited for that. Definitely like 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10 for these two chapters. Anyways, this has been my first ever long review. Uh, that ties I said nearly since chapter 161, 162. Hope you enjoyed. I tried my best. Hopefully this, hopefully I'll, maybe I'll keep doing that on the Taizai chapter reviews because I really enjoy talking about these. Anyways, Epic Guys signing out. Thank you again. See you next time.